So the secret is out. I like ice cream. I was up at Lake Tahoe with my family and I ran into a fan. Someone comes up to me and says, Thomas DeLauer. And like, you know, it happens occasionally, which is great. But I was at an ice cream shop and they didn't say anything, but I addressed it. I was like, isn't it kind of funny you run into the keto guy at an ice cream shop? You know, yes, I live life a little bit too, but I also enjoy all these lower carb keto ice creams. So here I am at Walmart and I'm going to pick out different flavors of keto ice creams. And I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna break down the ingredient labels a little bit here, but then we're gonna take them home and I'm gonna taste test them. And I'm gonna sort of give you like my review based upon ingredients, but also taste. So if something tastes amazing, but it doesn't make the ingredient cutoff that I would recommend, then I'm not gonna recommend it. So you're gonna have sort of a sliding scale this way. There's some really good selections here. Um, there's some other ones I haven't really seen much of before. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with uh, what is Frozen Farmer, okay? So we've got strawberry cheesecake. I'll close this so I don't let all the air out. Uh, strawberry cheesecake, 36 grams of carbs. Okay, so we've got this one. I don't think it's gonna necessarily work. We've got water, milk, sugar, corn syrup, strawberries. It does have allulose and erythritol in it. So I understand why they did that. They took sugar and then they're like, well, let's make it so it's a little less sugar by adding allulose and erythritol. Uh, but the other reason I can't do this one is we don't want to have that enriched wheat flour. Like we can't have that. That's going to be straight up gluten. Like, so let me see, that's just because this is the strawberry cheesecake one. Let's see if we can find another flavor there that wouldn't have gluten. Um, ooh, orange cream. This is a flavor I really like. So let's see, I've never tried this brand. Still gonna be the same thing. Water, milk, sugar, orange juice, concentrate allulose, which I love. The interesting thing about allulose, allulose actually can inhibit some of the sugar from absorbing. Allulose occupies the same transporter out of the gut that glucose does. So when you combine allulose with sugar, you may not get the same blood sugar spike. Then we have tapioca starch, some cream, chicory root fiber, whey, sunflower lecithin, the typical ice cream stuff. You're not going to find quote unquote healthy ice cream. It's just about finding the best ice cream that's going to fit your keto lifestyle. So this one's pretty high carb, but I'm still gonna try it because I think we need to give it a fair shot. And we need to actually like rate it how it is on taste and everything like that. Can't have, excuse me. Okay, this, then there's this night food and I've seen a couple of it, sleep friendly. I don't, let me grab a couple flavors so I can close this out. High in calcium, I don't know anything about this brand, but I feel like by saying that there's calcium in ice cream is going to promote good sleep is a little bit of a stretch. And that already like elevates my like spidey senses a little bit here. Okay. So we have skim milk, milk protein concentrate, brown rice syrup, prebiotic fiber, glycerin, tapioca, night food, mineral blend, calcium citrate, magnesium citrate. All that excess magnesium citrate is going to do is give you, well, it's going to seat belly you to the toilet. So combine that with inulin, prebiotic fiber. You know, there's some things I like about this. It's just weird. It's just, okay. And then the cookies and cream one, I wanna see if it has gluten in it. Unbleached wheat flour. So here you have something that's digestive enzymes, <laughs> prebiotic blend, right? Good for the gut, yet you have gluten in there, which is notorious. I, I, it's fine, people are gonna have gluten. Brands are gonna have gluten. I totally get it, no disrespect there. But don't call it gut goodness when you have something that is going to activate that zonulin protein. If you activate zonulin, a protein within the gut that gluten activates, you also enlarge or open and make the gut more permeable so things can get through like lipopolysaccharides. Turns out that zonulin also gets activated in the blood brain barrier, which means that we allow things to get into the brain. So we don't necessarily, okay, 10% of people are glucose intolerant. A smaller percentage are celiac, but it's a sliding scale up to that 10% of people that are sensitive to gluten. So you may be glucose intolerant, but you're just barely off the scale. And who's actually going and getting tested for glucose intolerance? A fraction of a percent. So I'm going to get this, what is this flavor? Pickles? Oh my God, what the heck? Okay, cold brew decaf, sleep friendly. That would have been ironic if it wasn't decaf and it was sleep friendly. Uh, sugar, water, decaf, coffee. Okay, and then we have the carb content, 20 grams of carbs in a serving, five grams. Okay, so let's get those. Now let's jump into, oh, I love the enlightened keto. Like enlightened keto ice creams are so, so, so good. Here's another one. Man, it's a bummer they only have these two flavors here. It actually looks like they're sold out. Like they have, a, these are all the enlightened keto ones and people are onto it. Like the enlightened keto, they have such good flavors. Um, so in this case, look at that. That is 100% keto friendly, look at. 13 grams of carbs, three of which is fiber, nine of which is sugar alcohol. That is one gram of net carb. 
that is as keto as it gets. So we have cream, water, erythritol, egg yolks, non-GMO soluble corn fiber, which is officially a legit fiber. It's not corn, it's a legit fiber. Almond flour, vegetable glycerin, Dutch cocoa, milk protein concentrate, natural flavor, cream cheese, skim milk, butter, unsweetened butter, nice, unsweetened chocolate, cocoa butter, terra gum, guar gum, carob gum, monk fruit extract, salt steep. This is awesome. There's no xylitol, nothing weird. And this one is caramel chocolate double dough. And then this one is, this one's a little bit higher carb, mint chocolate chunk, cream water, egg yolks, coconut oil. What? Was there coconut oil in this one? No. Coconut oil, soluble corn fiber, allulose and erythritol. I am so stoked. That is a good blend. Okay, so calorie content's higher for sure because it's got the cream in it. Big supporter of Enlightened, by the way. Okay, and oh, wait, there's another one. Ice cream cake, eight grams of net carbs. So it's a little bit more, less keto because it's a little bit higher carb. Okay, so we have cream, water, egg yolks, non-GMO salt, same kind of thing. Allulose, cheese cultures, okay. And then I wanna show you the difference here. So like this is very subtle difference, right? This one's the keto, this one's the light, okay? So this one has a lot more calories. This one has less, less calories, but more carbs. So this is one that you have for like a cheat meal off of keto. This is one you have during keto that's not gonna disrupt anything. Okay, so higher carb content on this, but lower calorie. Higher calorie, lower carb content, okay? And I think you'll notice the big difference like when we taste test them too. I do want to say a big thank you to Enlighten too. They, like, they have done a lot of awesome stuff on this channel in the past, and I just appreciate that. Okay, then we have Rebel. Ooh, Rebel is super, super, super good. I don't, I, got, I want to close, I'm trying to not be rude and like open this constantly. Okay, we got peanut butter fudge, banana peanut butter chip, which I'm absolutely going to try. Okay, we're going to try cookie dough. And I am a chocolate guy. We already got a mint one, so I'm going to, I'm going to do a chocolate one. So with Rebel, still high calorie. What do we have here? cream, water, cookie dough. I appreciate the cookie dough. They're using almond flour and not wheat flour like some of these others. Um, chocolate flakes, coconut, cocoa, erythritol, sunflower lecithin, Dutch cocoa, vanilla extract, monk fruit, vegetable glycerin, egg yolks, chicory root, milk protein isolate. I mean, it's good ingredients. Banana's gonna be the same. Water, cream, peanut butter, allulose. Yeah, still pretty clean. And triple chocolate. Still high calorie, the way it's, I mean, it's gonna be that way, it's a keto ice cream. Yeah, same kind of blend. So it's similar to the Enlightened. Uh, I feel like the Enlightened is a smidget cleaner than the Rebel. Okay, then we have Real Good, which I like them as a brand. I didn't know they had ice cream. Milk, cream, allulose, salted caramel, water, inulin, sea salt. Very similar ingredients as well. So these kind of ingredients are very similar between Enlightened real good in Rebel. So it is gonna come down a lot to taste. I definitely think that, again, like I'm a sucker for Enlightened because I think their flavor variety is amazing. And because like, then when we get down to cost too, Halo Top has some keto ones too. Let's take a look at Halo Top. Yep, here we go. Halo Top has a banana cream pie. Is that the only keto flavor they offer here? Look at the ingredients here. It's a little bit more ingredients. So like with Halo Top, Chocolate swirl, it's all that stuff. Natural flavors, sunflower lecithin, natural flavors. And then, ah, this one's got wheat flour. In the keto one? Okay, so what I've noticed before is that in the non-keto ice creams, I see wheat flour pop up a lot and it's kind of acceptable. But in the keto ones, I don't feel like that's really acceptable. So I can't even get this. Okay, we might have to get that at a different store. Okay, so let's go buy these. We'll swing by Safeway real quick, grab a couple others, and then we'll do a massive taste test. And I'm going to have way too much ice cream, but it's all good. $61 of ice cream. Let's head to Safeway, let's get a couple more things, and then we'll take it back and we're gonna test this. Peanut butter cup, peanut butter chocolate, and let's try white chocolate macadamia. This one is not necessarily keto. Okay, so we've got different enlightened keto flavors. Peanut butter brownie cookie dough. Peanut butter fudge. Ooh, there's some good flavors. Brownie dough. Come on, please, 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 please. Don't have no gluten. Contains egg. Yes. That's the thing. 
Okay, you can look at all kinds of different brands, but when you look at Enlightened compared to like Halo Top, 10 grams of net carbs, eight grams of net carbs, seven grams of net carbs, Enlighten's the only one I can find where we actually get down to one gram of net carbs. Like that is insane. So that's gonna weigh a lot in terms of our points. Okay, let's go ahead and let's check out and let's take it home, let's have a little taste test. So, so far we've spent about 85, 90 bucks on ice cream. So, hope my son likes it. It's been years since I've had a video that I'm this anxious about. And I'm anxious just because like, as we're getting everything set up, cameras ready, I'm practically shaking because I'm excited to dive into this ice cream, but I'm also really scared. The reality is I'm only gonna have little bits of each because I, I don't wanna like get tired of ice cream. So I'm just gonna take little teeny bites. Then my son's gonna join me and he's gonna kind of make some choices too. So we did the part in the grocery store where I kind of broke down the ingredients a little bit more. And then I've, I'm gonna break this down into like ice creams that I like as far as flavor. I'm gonna try not to think a whole lot about the ingredients, okay? And then it's going to allow me to kind of fine tune and say, okay, well, I remember the ingredients of this, maybe I really liked it, but the ingredients make it so that I eh, don't wanna have it. Uh, the other side of the equation might be that the ingredients are really good, but the taste isn't good. So let's just go ahead and jump in, okay? So almost all of these are full on keto. There's a couple random ones. The one that I've been itching to try is this night food pickles for, for two. Probably a play on the whole like pickles and ice cream thing. So let's go ahead. All of these you let sit out for like five to 10 minutes. That's kind of the idea with keto ice cream. Let them get soft. Here we go. No. <laughs> That's a really synthetic taste actually. A lot of glycerin. That's what I taste. I taste the glycerin. My son's gonna like it just because it's pink and purple. <laughs> but that, you taste the glycerin in that. Okay, rinse my mouth out. I'm gonna put that into dislike because I just did not like the taste at all. This is their decaf sleep friendly coffee one. Get a little bit of a, that tastes like frozen coffee. Yeah, it doesn't taste indulgent. It tastes like a healthy ice cream, but it's very bitter. So taste wise, yeah, I'm sorry. That's just gonna go in dislike. Let's go Rebel and let's go cookie dough because I was really excited about this one. I do like Rebel ice cream. I think it's good. Um, I like because it's got chunks of cookie dough and that's gluten free. Yeah, that actually tastes like real ice cream. It's delicious, so it does taste good, so I'll put it in the like category. Enlightened, I love Enlightened through and through, and I've been super excited about this one. This is one of their newer flavors. Ice cream cake, check it out. Vanilla and chocolate ice cream cake. This one I'm gonna have a big bite of. I mean, Enlightened is a sponsor on this channel, but I also want this review to be like, legit and honest. Um, so this one is eight grams of net carbs, a little bit higher on the carb content, but that's okay. I mean, it's still, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I'm going for a big bite on that one. Sorry guys. That is so good. I mean, the typical like keto ice cream stuff, like none of these are gonna be foods that you're saying, I'm gonna have this in place of broccoli. <laughs> that is one of the best ones I've ever had. Okay, so that's definitely going in the like category. Okay, now that there's this fair life one, this is not a keto ice cream, but it is sugar along with allulose. And since allulose occupies the same glucose transporter, it kind of cancels it out. Not necessarily keto, but let's try it here. Mm. You taste the sugar. It's funny after going from all of these and then going to one that has sugar, it tastes sticky, but it's still delicious. Not gonna be good on keto, but I'm still gonna put it in the like category. I mean, it's good. Okay, now we gotta go, let's go to this other new one. This is another one that's technically not keto, but it's in the healthier, better for you ice cream category. 270 calories in a pint, orange cream Frobert frozen dairy dessert. So, whoa, that's super icy. You can kind of see it like melted in a really weird way, but, but it's icy, it's supposed to be icy. It's more of a sorbet. It tastes like one of those two-tone. I think my son's gonna like that. So not very calorically dense, but still not something you could have on keto. There's still a lot of carbs in it. It's tough. Like, I don't like the consistency. The consistency is not very good. Yeah, and yeah, the aftertaste. I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna put that over there. This is the banana peanut butter cup. It looks delicious. Okay, like, got the peanut. I love peanut butter. I'm mildly allergic to peanut butter. I get sneezy and weird. I don't get going to crazy anaphylaxis or anything, but it's worth it for this. It's worth it for you guys. I'm gonna get a big chunk of peanut butter. Consistency is amazing but that is way overly sweet. Oh. Yeah. 
and 840 calories in a pint. <laughs> Absolutely keto friendly, seven grams of net carbs. I mean, but you get this big old chunk of peanut butter. No wonder your calories are where they're at. It makes perfect sense. But, whoa, that, yeah, that is really sweet. I like Rebel, they're good ice cream, but that one's a little too sickening sweet. Peanut butter chocolate Halo Top. Now, I'm a fan of Halo Top. They're not my, yeah, see, this is what I don't like about Halo Top is it's really powdery. So like whenever you get like a keto ice cream from Halo Top, they taste good, but it's super powdery. Um, like it just like the way it, like, 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 so it doesn't feel like you're eating, yeah, like it doesn't feel like you're eating ice cream. It feels like you're eating like if a cloud and a marshmallow like made love in the sand, kind of like consistency, like powdery, but tastes good though. Like you really dry, sticky, but dang, that tastes good. That tastes delicious. Just don't like the consistency. Eight grams of carbs, it's right in line with the Enlightened, but consistency Enlightened compared to Halo Top, hands down Enlightened. I'm gonna put this probably in the do not like. I, I do like some of the Halo Top stuff, like don't get me wrong. Like Enlightened is great, Halo Top is great. I'm inclined to like Enlightened a little bit more anyway, just because the flavor profile, but let's try this other Halo Top. This is the white chocolatey macadamia. See, it's still powdery. Now, you might like that. I just, like, I'm on keto. Like, I want to I wanna have, like, full fat ice cream. Like, right? Yeah, this one's really dusty. Flavor profile is really good on that one. I'm going to put it in the like category because that flavor, I think, I think you should try that flavor. We just run into that. It's that consistency. I just don't know. Let me look at the ingredients again. Cornstarch. This one's coconut oil. It has that. It has a lot of non-fat dry milk in it. That could be it. Caramel chocolate double dough. One gram of carb. That is insane. Monk fruit and stevia blend, which kind of gives it a nice round flavor. Ooh, look at that. Oh my God. Yeah, oh. Ooh, look at the chunk of brownie cookie dough in there. <laughs> yeah, this one's good. That's my favorite. Definitely going to the front. One gram of carbs too. I'm actually starting to get full. <laughs> My wife's gonna kill me. Because I'm gonna be like, I don't want dinner. Real good. So it's only been out for about five minutes. The fat really went to the top on this. So it leads me to believe they're not emulsifying it real, real well. It's a good ingredient profile. It just tastes sweet. Kind of tastes like someone, like you took heavy cream and just it tastes like whipped cream. It's good though. It's just a little too sweet for me though. I think I'm gonna put it in dislike. I don't think I'd find myself buying that one. Okay. If it was put in front of me and I was forced to eat it, I'd probably eat it. So let's do another real good. Peanut butter chocolate chip. This one definitely gets an award for appetizing looking. Let's see. Okay, that one's pretty good. Still very sweet. They can tone down the sweetener. Ah, they're adding straight up stevia. That's why. No monk fruit to round out the flavor. That's exactly what it is. So they're using stevia and allulose rather than stevia monk fruit and allulose. So that's why it gets like this hard bite of sweetness rather than monk fruit kind of rounding it out. Um, I still like it though. So I'm gonna put it over there. Tommy, hey buddy. My son's here, so it's about to get really crazy. Tommy, I'm testing ice cream. And then in a little bit, you're gonna come help me, okay? Come sit up. I, I got mint. <laughs> you know what? I love mint too. I haven't tested this one yet. Do you want to come up and sit with me? Come on, come up, sit, sit up here. <laughs> I like that green one, right? You haven't even tested it, you just like green. So we got peanut butter, cookie and brownie dough. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. Look at the caramel swirl. Ooh, it says Emma. Let me try it. Yeah, I have to say, I mean, again, full disclaimer, like Enlightened sponsors content on this channel. So I know, you know, I, but it, their consistency, their flavor, and just the feeling on the palate, but the com combination with the crunch you get, I definitely think it's pretty darn good. You try it? <laughs> okay, so this one is definitely gonna make it into the light category. I've never seen this brand outside of the bars. A Little bit of a fail in the consistency. I don't like 
them too. <laughs> want mommy to try them too? Well, okay, mommy can try them in just a minute. I'm sure mommy will like to try these. Let's try this. This one's pretty good. It's not really sweet. Almost oh, needs more sweet. <laughs> Hang on, we gotta get through all these other ones. And then we get to pick our favorite ones, okay? Okay, so definitely going into the like cat. So as you can see, I like ice cream. There's more in my like category than in my dislike category. Okay, you wanna go green? Yeah. What's the magic word? Mm. Okay. What do you think? Good. <laughs> They're all good. I just like that one. Blue? Mm. Okay, let's try blue. I'm a chocolate guy, so. <laughs> we are yummers. <laughs> That's numbers? Yeah, we do. It's not a number. Oh, wow, that's a big chunk of chocolate there. Yeah, that is very good. This is Tommy's best day at the office ever. Definitely goes in the light category. I could not sit down and eat a whole pint of that. Like, the fat content, like, again, it's very good ingredients. The fat content is very high, very thick, very creamy, which is good. So I wanted to pull one of them that was regular enlightened, not keto, uh, because I wanted to be able to have a comparison. When you are having a cheat meal, it's almost better to have regular versus the keto ones because the regular ones are going to be dramatically lower calorie. Granted, they're not going to be keto because they're going to have some carbs in them, but they're still really on that edge. But I wanted to be able to compare, like, how's that one taste? What? After having the keto ones, this does not taste as good. Like, it tastes like it's missing some. If you're not even doing keto, I feel like these oh, keto ice creams are so unbelievably like delicious. They taste better than a lot of, like this is a more of a regular ice cream. I still love Enlighten, I think, but this one in the category of all of these, it just doesn't have the same consistency, but it's not supposed to because it's a regular ice cream or a light ice cream versus a keto ice cream. So it's not as high fat. So it feels like denser and less creamy. So I'm gonna put it over there because I just don't think it's a fair assessment, even though it tastes good. We got two more, Tommy. Which one should we do? We have a one, we have an orange, and we have a brown. Tommy likes chocolate. So we're gonna go with this Real Good Foods straight up chocolate. Man, that was a shark attack. That one is, again, it, it gets super airy at the top, really fatty at the top. What's the fat content? 45 grams of fat in a pint. I think this one's a little too sweet. But yeah, weird aftertaste. Hang on. All right, we're down to the last one, Buckaroo. This is peanut butter fudge. One gram of net carb. That's again, what I really like about the Enlightened Keto Collection is the low carb content. <laughs> you like that one? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that one. Tommy, you are right. Holy moly. That's my new favorite. That is my new favorite. <laughs> you like this one too? The funny thing is, when I picked this out at the grocery store, John, my videographer, is going, that's the one I'm gonna love. That's the one I'm gonna love. Too bad I'm gonna eat all of it. He doesn't get to take me home. All right. Okay, we gotta, we gotta narrow this down. Okay, so no disrespect to these brands. These ones just didn't make the taste test. Okay, they didn't, this didn't meet my mark. Okay, so the issue that we face with Rebel, they were very, very, very clean. Okay, but taste didn't really cut it. Um, as far as ingredients, the one gram of carbs, you can't beat that. Okay, these are all on this, like level playing field as far as a lot of the ingredients that are in them. One gram of carb, you can't beat that. Flavor with Enlightened, well, absolutely. I, want to eat that. I know. Hang on, one minute. Almost done here. Halo Top. This one tasted delicious, but a little bit too much in the way of the ingredient profile. That one. That one. Which one? That one. This one? Yeah, you didn't get to try that one here. Okay. But I think you know if I look at all of these, like the peanut butter brownie cookie dough. Out of all these, out of all the enlightened, let's just narrow these enlightened ones down. I'm a classic guy, just like my son. <laughs> You're going crazy. You got it. Hang in there. Okay. So mint, ice cream, and peanut butter fudge. Okay. Those are definitely like my leaders in flavor. Okay. Um, so out of the enlightened, then here we have peanut butter fudge taking the cake with the one gram of carbs. Definitely better. So this one. The, I mean, it was delicious, but I think if I had to like narrow it down to three, it'd be those enlightened ones for sure. Um, and then the Rebel, again, very clean ingredient profile. I like I really, one, you I want some pink? Rebel. You want to try them? You want the Rebel? Oh, you just think Rebel from Paw Patrol. 
That one is good. <laughs> this one tastes delicious, but it is not exactly healthy. Um, so you get out of here? Okay. I just, I like this. So I had to put it in that category. So I'm going to 86 that one. I'm not going to put it in dislike. It's just not making the top cut. Um, this peanut butter chocolate from Real Good. I think that one makes it. <laughs> this one was really good, but it was just, again, that, that dust, dusty type flavor. <laughs> but also the ingredients. But the white confectioner chunks, sugar, palm kernel oil, nonfat dry milk. I don't like that much sugar in a clump like that. So I'm going to kind of move that one out of the way. This one was really good uh, ingredient profile, but it was just really weird consistency once again. No. I'm going to put that in the final, the final few. And then this, the Rebel triple chocolate. It's just, the, yeah, that one's just like really such a high fat taste. That, that's, that's, yeah, when I come back to that one. Two favorites. <laughs> these, these. Also, hang, okay, buddy. Also, get those at Walmart. I'll go ahead and put a link down below for Enlightened too. Uh, real good, definitely not bad. Rebel, definitely filling and high fat. Uh, this mint one is just a classic, but not everyone loves mint. The point is, there's a lot of really good ice cream brands out there, and they're all different in their own way, but they're also very similar, okay? And you have to respect the flavor profile and the carb content. So when you're on keto, at the end of the day, look at those net carbs. Okay, and what kind of variety you can get out of flavor within that respective like net carb range is going to tell you a lot. So, you know, this isn't to rain on any parade of any brand. I just wanted to show you some video of me eating ice cream and choosing what I think are the best tasting ice creams. So big shout out to Enlightened. Awesome stuff. Thank you again for making this possible, but also like thank you to all these brands for just leveling up the keto game. The one that was a little bit weird, I will say, was night food. Still confused. Very confused about that one. Don't really know. Tommy, which one was your favorite? <laughs> and this is Tommy's favorite. So Tommy wins on that one. All right. You want a big bite of it? Yeah. Okay, come here. All right. Big bite. Big bite ice cream party. Okay, go get mommy. Oh. Oh. Is that good? Yo. <laughs> what do you think? And Tommy. Ah, it's All right, that's a wrap.